Hey there, so far we have been working on examples that had only one activity and in this video I'm going to show you how to create multiple activities and how to open them using an intent. This is the layout that we're going to use. Let me drag a button to the center of the screen and I'm going to name this Open Sesame. Okay. And we need some nice text on the button. So we're going to create a new string resource. Go to values and strings.xml. I'm going to create a new string resource. String name is equal to open sesame. Open sesame. Okay, this is the string that we're going to use on the button. Let me go back to home.xml and we are going to change the text property. Click on the ellipsis and click on open system. So we have one activity which is ready. We'll be needing another activity so that we can open that activity on the click of this button. Let's go back to source, expand the folder, expand the package and right click and click on new, other. Under the Android folder, click on Android activity, click next. We are going to use a blank activity and click on next. We are going to name this as welcome activity. The name of the layout is going to be welcome and title is welcome activity and the navigation is none. Let's click on finish. So we have another activity you can see that we have a welcome activity dot java and we also have a layout that is called as welcome dot xml and uh, we're going to put some nice text in here uh, let's give this an id we're going to name this at the rate of plus id slash welcome message that will do and we are going to put some text inside. Let's go to strings.xml and we are going to create another string resource that says string name is equal to welcome message. We are going to put in welcome, welcome to Android development. That will do. Let's go back to welcome.xml and change this text property click on the ellipsis and choose welcome message click ok so we have a second activity that displays the welcome message this is the default activity that uh, will open when the application is launched we ha it has a button that says open sesame and we also have a second activity that is called welcome activity which displays this message in a text view Let's go back to Java. You can notice we have the home activity Java, which is going to be the default activity. And we also have a welcome activity Java. Now we are going to go to home activity and let's create a reference variable private button open sesame import button. Now create get a reference to the button find view by id r dot id dot open sesame okay let's add a cast and we want to add an on click listener and we want to add some un unimplemented methods let's assign the on click listener to this button on click listener of this and inside the on click method we are going to start a new activity and we are going to use an explicit intent here because uh, you you are going to specify the target component which should handle the intent I'm going to create a new intent intent is equal to new intent 
of context is this and we're going to specify the target component which is welcome activity dot class and uh, we're just going to start it using the start activity method activity of intent so this is an explicit intent because it has the name of the component which should handle this intent and we are going to start the activity let's run this project run it as an android application click on ok switch to the emulator ok let's check it out go and click on open sesame and here it is welcome activity welcome to android development so that's how you start a new activity in android uh, you can also add multiple activities and you can use the same methodology to start or navigate to a particular activity if you have any questions feel free to ask thank you